they could get away with it. That's why they do. It's a form of mockery. So what can you do? People are asking. Well, you just know. You know this stuff. You believe it. You tell other people. So that when people say, oh, I trust my government or I trust this or I trust that, you can say, why? This is look at all the stuff they hide from you. They're, they're laughing at you. And you realize that the right left paradigm is just that. It's all fake. It's a big wrestling match. They're deceiving you into us all hating each other, not getting along with each other based on political affiliation, religion, and all these things. Or let's say religious denominations, because they broke up the Christian religion into dozens of denominations. They did that for a reason. Divide and conquer. We can never come together. You got people hung up on, oh, I'm not going to go to that church because they disagree on this doctrine and that doctrine. The people all split up because of a doctrine, because they disagree on something in the Bible. So they form a whole church out of it. And if you don't fall into that paradigm, then you're one step ahead of everyone else in trying to wake people up. But a lot of people can't get out of that. They, they can't help themselves. They have to associate with a Republican or a Democrat. Like That's their identity. They don't even know how to have an identity without, without that. attitude that trump has he makes me laugh i think the guy's pretty hilarious and um i understand he's just an actor anyways i understand he has no real power <laughs> you know i understand he's not making any of these decisions he's just he's just the red herring okay he's he's the guy that everybody could pin all the bs on all the problems all everything that goes wrong they could pin on him and everything that goes right <laughs> they could pin on him he just plays this perfect position in the middle and it's really deceiving america and again it's not him doing this He's just kind of this puppet being used. This is my perspective. But um, I don't think he has any real power. So I guess uh, that's basically the point. Um, the, war the new world order isn't, isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's increasing. And we can see this through what Kissinger was explaining recently on, on an article I was reading. He, he was making this argument, you know, China. It's really about China and Russia. You know, they're, they're the only ones we need to worry about. But actually... China, Russia, we're all working together, especially in regards to technology, you know, pharma or, uh, pharmaceuticals, and um, infrastructure. We're, we're definitely working with them. So how can we be working together on all these projects? And we're working together very well, and, and we're making a lot of headway. But at the same time, we're, we're, we're having this nuclear war threat, <laughs> and, and, and we could possibly be going to war, yet we're working together just perfectly in other areas. It doesn't make sense. So the, the point being, I think a lot of the, the wars, the war talks is, is um, you know, rumors of war, basically, just like the Bible states. So we will be getting more of those. There actually might be some mock wars, um, some like faux wars that, are, that start up. Um, they're pointing a lot of stuff at Ukraine and Russia, you know, more red herring um, activity. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. I, 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 I kind of imagine some war happening at some point 